Welcome to the Integration Training Series. In this video, we will demonstrate the purpose and function of the Partner Setup Table. Let's get started. The Partner Setup Table in Transaction Manager is used to associate the trading partner with the customer ID or IDs you have defined in your accounting package. The value in the Partner Setup Table needs to match the customer ID in your accounting package exactly. Let's take a look at how to add the customer ID to the Partner Setup Table. To access the Partner Setup Table, click the icon in the upper left-hand corner. Click Transaction Manager, and then Trading Partners. Select your trading partner from the list. In the action bar, click the Translations drop-down and select Partner List. To manually add a new customer ID, click Add Partner. As mentioned previously, the value in the EDI Partner field must match the customer ID in your ERP system. Looking at a sample QuickBooks record, Home Depot is in all capital letters. This is how the customer ID would need to be entered into your partner setup. Once the customer ID is added, click Save in the action bar. In some instances, your company may have two trading partner records within your ERP. If this is the case, a multi-partner setup would be needed. For instance, in our sample QuickBooks record, we have two customer records for Target, Target A and Target B. Both of these records needed to be added to the partner setup under Target. Once the customer IDs have been added and saved, the options for translation parameters will expand. The translation parameter is a specific value being sent on every order from your trading partner and is linked to one of the customer records within your ERP. The translation parameter will allow Transaction Manager to know which record the order should be associated with once the order is exported. For example, the trading partner might be sending a unique vendor number under the miscellaneous tab of the order for each record. In this case, you would need to select vendor number as your translation parameter. Once the parameter is selected, make sure to click Save in the action bar. Contact your assigned implementation specialist if you are not sure which option to choose, or if the trading partner is sending a value in a field not listed under the parameters. Once the customer IDs have been added to Step 1, and the translation parameter has been selected for Step 2, the final step will be to add the translation values. To do this, click Add Translation Value, select the partner record from the drop-down, and enter the unique value that's being sent on the order. Because we selected vendor number as our translation parameter in Step 2, we would need to add the unique vendor number being sent for each customer record. Complete this step for each customer ID added for this trading partner and be sure to click Save in the action bar. Please note that if you have a trading partner with a large number of customer IDs within your ERP, these values can be imported into your partner setup using a CSV file. If you have a framework integration, you also have the option to sync the customer IDs from your accounting package to Transaction Manager. To do this, click Sync. Then, do a search for the customer IDs. Any IDs that are in your accounting package will appear in the Business System Partners list. From there, you can select the customer ID or IDs that need added. 
Click Sync Selected Business System Partners, and then click Done. For questions regarding this process, contact your assigned implementation specialist. Finally, if you attempt to export your purchase order before the partner setup has been completed, you will get the following error. If you get this error, complete the steps described in this video to complete your partner setup and try your export again. This concludes the partner setup tutorial. As a reminder for TrueCommerce customers for any testing related questions, please contact your assigned implementation specialist. For any production related questions, please contact our support team.